Welcome back to the Geospatials. So in this video we are going to be installing GDAL stroke OGR on Windows. Now I'm not going to leave anyone behind. So Windows guys, this is your tutorial. So I leave a link in the description box for this page so that if any of you get lost along the way, you can always refer to this. So uh, you're going to download either 64-bit um, or 32-bit network installer and I have already downloaded mine so I'm just going to go ahead and open it so you're going to select advanced install this is the same way you will choose to install QGIS or any other but for this case you're going to specifically install OGR stroke GDAL so select advanced install you're going to install from the internet and then um, let's just select next and next yeah next then you're going to select any of these so just continue clicking next now as you can see on this um, select package uh, dialog uh, everything has been set to default and you're going to install the OGR GDAL command line so select the GDAL OGR library and we're going to let me just expand this I'm going to expand this and then enable the skip option and then we'll enable bin in our case so click next and then these are all the packages that will be installed together with GDAL and click next now by the power of editing I uh, will agree with this and then I'll fast forward this so that you don't have to painfully wait for mine to install but now that it's finished let's see so if you open your command prompt uh -huh. And let's try to type OGR info. Now, if you try to try type this and you still get something like recog not recognized, it means that um, it has not been set. The GDAL path has not been set. So we are going to set the path for GDAL. So open control panel and we are going to go to our system settings and then we'll go to system and advanced system settings now um, click on environmental variables and we are, we are just trying to tell the computer this is where GDAL can be found if you want to find GDAL, go here. So um, select on the path and you are going to just edit it. Now you are going to add the path and for us to find the path, you are going to go to C, local disk C and OSGO and then the path is bin. So click on this and copy the path and then back here we're going to add a new path paste so let's just remove that semicolon and then ok and select uh -huh. ok let's open our command prompt again and try type something like gdal translator something like OGR to OGR and now you should see this uh, synopsis meaning your GDAL is stroke OGR is now fully installed guys that's it for installing with Windows took a bit more time than Ubuntu but we got the hang of it and guys if these tutorials are helpful to you in any way consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to give this video a like bye